Kanban is a powerful tool you can use to track your projects and allocate tasks. With Kanban, you can visualize your project and streamline your workflow so you spend less time organizing and more time getting stuff done. Kanban boards are usually organized into lists that follow task progress, such as to do, in progress, and done. When the state of a task changes, you can just drag and drop it along. What you see here is actually a label field called progress, and each of these lists is a label. So dragging and dropping items will actually assign a new label to that item. These little tags here are also labels in a label field called priority. To add a new label to a label field that you have open, click add list button on the right. You can also use drag and drop to move lists into an order that suits you best. To remove a label that you don't need, click on it and click delete list. The best thing about Zenkit's Kanban view, though, is that you can group your Kanban by any label field. This means that you can flexibly switch between progress, priority, members, or whichever other fields you've set up. Just click the Views menu, Kanban Options, and then choose the field under the Vertical Grouping menu. Another great thing about Kanban and Zenkit is that you can view it in 2D. This helps you gain new perspectives over your projects. You could view task progress by member or set up an Eisenhower matrix to help prioritize tasks. To set up labels on the horizontal axis, just choose it from the list under horizontal grouping. Here, you can drag and drop items just as you would in the normal Kanban view. The last cool thing I want to show you are the aggregation badges. Next to each list title, you can see a little icon with a number on it. We call these aggregations, and they help you budget a project, assess how much work different members have been assigned, or estimate how long it'll take to complete high priority tasks. By default, aggregations show the number of items in a list. However, it can also show the sum of any number or formula field in the collection. Just click on it to change it. Now you can see that it'll take 15 hours to complete everything that is a high priority task. You can also choose not to show any aggregation at all. To do this, go back to the View Options menu and choose None under Aggregation. This is perfect if you prefer a cleaner looking workspace. Lastly, if you want to keep your collection super simple, then you can reduce the amount of detail shown on, on the items by dragging the item size toggle. As you can see, Zenkit is as flexible as you are, so it's time to start exploring. Mm -hmm.